Hey guys, I am Tanya K, and yes, you're right, I am driving as I record this. And you know what? I will tell you why I am driving while I'm recording this. There's a very good reason. And the reason being, I have many, I have an insane schedule. Today, I'm working a 13 hour day. I'm working two jobs, 13 hour day, and then I'm doing the exact same thing again tomorrow, 13 hour day. And then the next day after that, which is Sunday, Actually, uh, my girlfriend will be meeting my family for the very first time, and that's kind of a really big deal, and she's nervous, and I don't blame her because my family isn't exactly 100% open to the fact that I'm a lesbian. I actually waited until I was 25 before I came out to my parents. I told my one sister when I was 14, I told my other sister when I was 16, but for the most part, they're not 100%. They didn't say like, Yay, we're so happy for you, and they threw their arms around me. That didn't happen. But that's a vlog for another time. But here, um, I really want to review Buffy the Vampire Slayer, my next episode, which is the puppet show. And I really want to get these, I want to do one episode every day. I want to get them out to you guys really fast, because I've kind of been depleting you guys of videos since it's been over a month since I've done any and it really got to the point where I didn't think I was ever going to do videos again. I was really just ready to throw my hands up in the air and say the channel was dead. But anyways, it's not dead and I'm going to review. So I've got about a seven minute drive till I get to work and I think I should be able to get this video done in that amount of time. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season one, The Puppet Show. This is an amazing, amazing episode. This is, I think, this is my favorite episode of season one, and one of my top favorite, one of my top favorite five episodes of the entire series. I know there's got to be a lot of people who are with me, because this episode was so popular, and Sid the Dummy was such a popular character that they brought him back for the video game. Chaos Bleeds. Even though Chaos Bleeds was supposed to take place during Season 5 and the puppet show was all the way back in Season 1, it, I mean, it was still a popular enough concept and a popular enough storyline to bring it back five years later. And the actor Tom Weir do, did the voice for Sid the Dummy and he came back for the video game to do the voice for Sid the Dummy again, which is really great. It just shows... I don't know. I just think it's amazing that the actor came back and did it. I don't know if he did it because he just needed a paycheck or because he felt honored to be a part of such an awesome show and to be part of such a great episode. So, well, in this episode, a couple other things happen. We get to meet Principal Snyder, who is Actually, he's trying to be buddy-buddy with Giles, and he's trying to, he, for some reason, Principal Snyder thinks that, um, um, Giles doesn't like children as much as he does, so he kind of tries to find a bond with him, and that will actually, that storyline will actually go over into season two, and I can't exactly remember when Principal Snyder realizes that Giles is not ever going to be his friend and is actually going to be working against what he works for. I know that's in season three. I think it's sometime in season two, but at least until the season two, some assembly required, Snyder definitely still thinks that him and Giles can be pals and commiserate together about the horrors of teenagers. So, basically, they don't hide the fact that Principal Snyder's an asshole and nobody's going to like him. And then there's the talent show where we get to see Cordelia being Cordelia, which is nice because she's starting to feel like she's more a part of the mold, I guess. She's more a part of the team, even though she really doesn't become a part of the team until a couple episodes later. And, um... Out of, uh, out of mind, out of sight, but she's starting to feel more a part of the team, more a part of the storyline, and less just like a prop that talks, because honestly, that's how she's felt this entire series, just a prop that talks. But, um, so yeah, let's see what else is going on in this episode. I actually watched this episode like 
three or four weeks ago, so I'm trying to remember it. Really just... Oh, I have to say, you know, when Giles was doing the power circle and he was sucking at it, I really liked how in season four, the season four finale, Restless, how they called back to that in Willow's Dream when Giles was doing a power circle. That's just... That's really awesome, and it really shows, I think, the writers and the producers and the creators and Josh Whedon, it shows that they think their audience is intelligent, and they know their audience is intelligent. So they can make a reference to something four years later, and they know that the audience will get it. And that's another thing I love about this show, is that it never once talks down to its audience, and it always speaks to its audience knowing that its audience is intelligent and its audience is loyal and the audience knows just as much as the creators and just as much as Josh Ween does that this show is awesome. So I don't really have too much more to say on this episode, that and I'm actually almost to work right now. But um, I don't, um, well, you know what? The only thing I have to say is that, you know, the one and only time that they had a scene playing over the credits, which is uh, Buffy, Willow, and Xander doing the Greek tragedy scene, which is awesome, of Oedipus. And um, if you have the uh, DVD uh, on this, which you should, I firmly believe you should have the DVD on this. People who say they claim they're Buffy fans, and they watch it on Netflix. No, you need to have the DVD. Like, it's it's just ridiculous. But anywho, uh, Josh Whedon does do a cool little interview about the episode. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, Sit the Dummy is awesome. It's just, the storyline was great. You just wouldn't expect it, and it was kind of classic horror movie, you know, talking dummy, talking evil dummy, and then of course, you know, like all the other Buffy twists, well, actually it turns out he's one of the good guys, but, alright guys, that's all I have to say, and uh, thanks for sticking with me, and thanks for putting up with me in this kind of weird commentary, but I will see you guys next time when I tackle nightmares. Until then, peace out, and be good. Bye!